Hi, folks, it's Dave here, the ventriloquist guy. <laughs> Coming to you from Abbotsford, British Columbia, on another episode of the Christian Dummy Show. <laughs> hey, that's a pretty good, Dave. I like it. I like this. Yeah, I like it too, there, Johnny. <laughs> what are you going to talk about today, Dave? Well, I thought I'd just talk about how uh, nice it's getting in the gardens, and boy, it's sure, sure good. And, uh, yeah. Hey, Dave. <laughs> you know what? Who's that guy over there? What's that? Well, that's the drums. Chico, what have you done? What, Dave? I just got myself a drum set. Well, it's engulfing our whole living room. Well, Dave, you know, you got to practice. You don't practice, you know, you're doing it good. Okay, okay, Chico, are you going to play with us in the songs? Uh, sorry, Dave, I, uh, I lost my sticks. <laughs> Did you say you lost the sticks? Yeah, I did. Hey, Chico, how did you... I'm not even going to ask. Dave, don't make fun of me. I, uh, for some reason I misplaced my sticks and now I can't play. Well, next time, Chico, I really want you to, uh, give us a good drum solo. Anyways, folks, I hope all of you are doing well. I want to have a big shout out to everybody. And, uh, you know what? Everything's doing really good, um... Maybe the world's getting back into shape. I know I work in a restaurant, and I'm back to work. So, who knows? The whole world could be healing. Well, I sure hope so. And, uh, you know what? I just want to say a prayer for all those families out there that are really suffering now with stuff. Huh, Dave, you know, we haven't seen anything big like this since uh, the big one. <laughs> you know, WW2. Oh, that I was in. Oh, I know, John, you were in the big one, but... Uh, you know, uh, we just have to really stick together and everybody help each other. And you know what? Try to love one each other. It says love your neighbors as yourself. That's a hard concept sometimes when you see what's going on in the world with violence and everything. I know that's pretty despicable, but I know human nature. But you know what? God didn't intend us uh, to be like that. And people sometimes ask me, like, huh, how can God be so great? If he had his own son die on a cross so violently, or people die so tragically in the world. And you know what I say to them? I said, free will. You know, God, hey, what could have been better? He, he could have made us all robots. Would that have been better? No. And you know what, as far as how people die? People die in many different ways. It's sad, it's not great, but you know what? I believe God has a plan, and... You know what? He gives us rules just because he loves us. Anyways, you know, I was at the river today and I just focused in on God and it was great. Uh, you know, I, I really loved being at the river fishing. Uh, you know, um, Dave, I won. How come you didn't take me fishing? Oh, well, Johnny, yeah, easy, easy. I'll take you fishing one time. Oh, Dave, I, I want to go fishing so bad. Um, okay, I'll take you sometime, but I just, I, you know, I just, I just wanted to look at the river, and, you know, I was meditating on the river, and I was thinking, gee, you know, there was someone else at the river. Jesus was at the river, and he was baptized at the river. And you know what? John the Baptist baptized him. He did. Wasn't that, that, wasn't that the guy? Yeah, that was the guy. And you know what? John didn't want to baptize him. But let's hear what the angel of the Lord has to say about this. Matthew chapter 3. In those days, John the Baptist came, preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. This is he who was spoken of through the prophet Isaiah. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. John's clothes were made of camel's hair, and he had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. People came out to him from Jerusalem and all of Judea and the whole region of the Jordan, confessing their sins. They were baptized by him in the Jordan River. I will baptize you with water for repentance. But after me comes one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. 
He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor, gathering his wheat into the barn, and burning up the chaff of the unquenchable fire. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan River to be baptized by John. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Wow, Dean! Oh, you know what? That's pretty good. You know, I I like that song about this guy. Oh, I'm gonna try eating some of those um, critters. What do you call them? Uh, uh, uh crickets. <laughs> yeah, you try crickets, Johnny. Well, hey, Chico, how about we all sing a song? Um, you know, all of us. Uh, I think that would be good. You know. Um, since we're thinking about the river and it was so nice fishing, oh, by the way, we caught one little bitty trout. And we cooked them right up there at the river, and it wasn't the tastiest thing, I tell you. Um, that little trout, and you know what? It wasn't that we caught a lot. Maybe God just wanted us to have a little taste of trout and to focus on the river. But folks, hey, Chico, you gonna play along? Gene, I don't have any sticks. Okay, okay, okay. Let's sing the river, folks. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, all right?
Fiber. Woohoo! Well, folks, that's been a great day. Been great talking to you, Johnny. Nice drumming, Chico. Ah, oh, shit, that's it. Stop teasing me. Anyways, let's, folks, let's close in prayer. You know, I really want everybody, please, please say this in a prayer tonight. Lord Jesus, I'm tired of the sin in my life and I, so many troubles that happened into my life and I need you. Lord, I love you so much. Please, right now I take this opportunity to ask you to come into my heart. I love you so much, Lord. And I'm going to make a commitment right now. I'm going to ask you to open the door. And I'm going to open the door to let you into my heart. Thank you, Lord, for this precious gift. And now my name is written into the book of life. Praise you. Thank you, Lord, always. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Woohoo! Thanks, folks. Oh, I didn't even notice. Thanks, animal. Anyways, you guys have a good time. I'm going to see you next time on the Christian Dummy Show. Thanks for watching, folks.